That's the most expensive belt in the in the world. Right here. Yeah. It's in it's in the Guinness Book. When'd you get that? Was that was that for the uh for number forty eight? No, that's when I that, well I was already champion. Um, a lot of times people uh, fail to realize this. They don't know what you know when we talk we talk about undisputed. Mm -hmm. Un to be undisputed champion, you have to have three or more belts. Right. Not all four. Mm -hmm. You know, three or four of the organizations. Mm -hmm. And when mm -hmm. I uh, fought uh, when I fought Pacquiao, I had this belt mm -hmm. and this belt, and he had this belt. So I won these three. Mm -hmm. But these are all four organizations, mm -hmm. you know, in boxing. Yeah. Now, Floyd says some interesting stuff right there. He said, you, you, said um, you only have to win three titles to become undisputed. Now, my question is, what three titles, if that's the case, would the W, like, if you had the WBO, the IBF, and the WBA, would you be undisputed? Now, or is he saying you must win the WBC, WBA, and the IBF, and you don't have to have the WBO? Now, if he's saying that, okay, especially considering the era he came from, I could get why he would say that. But it seems around 2006, for, for whatever reason, that seems to be when the WBO was accepted as a major title. I don't know what happened around that time to make that be the case, but that seems to be the case. So, we know at some point in time, matter of fact, we know the first title Floyd won at 147 wasn't, was the IBF, if I'm not mistaken. And he dropped that after he won the WBC or the WBA, one or the other, and eventually went on. Like he said, he fought Manny Pacquiao. In a unification fight, Manny was the WBO champion. He, he was the WBA, WBC. So he walked away with three titles. Now, he did not have the IBF title at that point in time. So technically wise, you can't call him undisputed then either. But the one time he should have been called undisputed was, okay, matter of fact, let's stop right there. If you was to look up who was the last undisputed fighter, who would it say? I think most of us, or some of us anyway, knows it would say Zab Judah. So, with that being said, Zab Judah was supposedly the last undisputed champion. Back in 2006. And he won the W... Well, actually, he already... If, uh, all right. He fought in a unification bout with... Um, Corey Spinks and lost. So Corey Spinks was undisputed. Then they had a rematch because <clears throat> I forget which belt Zab had and he had. But so then Zab had to go to St. Louis to fight him in the rematch and he won. So Zab was undisputed. Now, then Zab fought Carlos Baltimore for all three belts. And for some reason, some loophole. It didn't go through like that, but I'll let Zab tell it. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. So at that time, people know I was the undisputed champ of the world. I was uh, my next fight it was it was gonna be a bit it was gonna be a bit it was, my next my next fight was scheduled to be Floyd. I lose the fight, so I'm like, oh, shallow to fight. Don King come locker rooms. So I'm like, damn, Don, what are we gonna do? He like, don't worry about it. You still an IBF champion, and I'm like. Then we just fight. We fought for, we fought, me and Carlos Bolomir fought for the undisputed championship of the world. Don King is so slippery and trickery and flamey that somehow people didn't even look at it. They didn't even watch it. I was still a champion. I was still the champ of the world. Because he didn't sign the paperwork or pay the no, fees? Bro, I don't know what that yeah, I'd like. heard that, yeah, Carlos Baldemir, I guess, didn't pay some of the fees I mean, for the other belts. So therefore, he didn't. That retard came into the fight with no belts. <laughs> now, you heard what Zab said. Now, if you were paying attention to the video, they handed Carlos Baltimore a belt. They handed him the WBC title. So, that's what they gave him. The WBA title, what well, a super WBA title is what Zab was. So, when he lost, they, they did take the, the WBA super title from him. And because he lost, Luis Colazzo was the regular champion, so... 
at that point. So they took the super champion from uh, Zab, and like I said, Colazzo was the regular champion. And then so when he fought Floyd Mayweather, and it's taking the story back full circle. When he fought Floyd Mayweather, it was for the IBF title. So ironically, the first 147 title Floyd won was the IBF against Zab Judah. Then he moved on to fight Carlos Baltimore for the WBC title. But in fact, when he fought Carlos Baltimore, that was supposed to be for undisputed. So, I mean, you know, by, technic by technicality, and I have no idea what that technicality was that Don King pulled, but Floyd Mayweather, when he fought Carlos Baltimore, that was supposed to be for all the marbles. You heard Zab Judah say it himself. And, and now, if you don't believe me, just go back and listen to the audio for the fight. Floyd Mayweather has already held world titles at 130, 135, 140. He was given a title belt as the result of his win over Judah because Judah still had one unaccountably. So even though he's held a title belt at 147, that's purely a statistical technicality. He hasn't been the champion of this division yet. Well, in his own mind, he's the champion of every division, past, present, and future. He's uh, the kind of performer who walks around like uh, there's a band following him. You know, if he was a peacock, he'd never fold his feathers. In his own mind, his pound-for-pound pound title is bigger than the welterweight title that Valdemir holds. Zab told the truth. Floyd was Floyd should have been undisputed when he beat Carlos Baltimore. No doubt about it. But because of that, he dropped that IBF belt after he beat ba uh, Baltimore. And... Uh, he didn't receive the WBA title till later on. And he never he never really pushed to get the IBF back again. And I, I don't know, maybe it's because he felt some kind of way because he didn't receive the undisputed then. And we definitely know um Floyd wasn't big on paying sanctioning fees, but um for for whatever reason he was willing to do it with the WBA and the WBC instead of just the WBC. Um but the but no doubt about it, the sanctioning body that he favored was the WBC. So uh, like I said, maybe you uh, you could put part of it on the fact that he dropped that IBF belt. You could put part of the fact that he never hit undisputed on the fact that um uh, the whole Don King Carlos Baltimore Zab Judah fiasco. I mean, like I said, take take it how you want it. That's that's the only thing I can say. I mean, I'm not trying to say Floyd actually was undisputed, even though he kind of did say that at the beginning. But I I do believe he he was supposed to. I mean, I, I shouldn't even have to say that. That's pretty much it. Uh, this is Headbuster and Boxing Fight Doctor. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And make sure you hit that all over top of it so you can get all the notifications. Um, hit me up in the comments section. Let me know what you think Um, about you know the subject matter Floyd Mayweather not being undisputed and why that wasn't the case and uh let me know what you think I mean you know if you want to add to it hit me up in the comment section let me know something that's pretty much it this is Hair Bustin' Boxes on Fight Doctor I am out